but it's perfect for this show. It makes you it makes you feel like you're out on the ocean and waves are going up and down, 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 up, 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 down, down, down. <laughs> you know, I almost picked a different song entirely uh, that was more like a kind of uh, throwback um, to horror host shows of the 50s. And I'm kind of glad I went with the, uh, uh, that's called the Spooky Waltz. What's that? Yeah, it's uh, it's called the Spooky Waltz. I like it. It's like all of, uh, it makes you get in that feel of being out on the ocean. And the waves are just taking you up and down and up and down, you know, that kind of thing. You know who picked that out? Uh, Adriana picked that out. The young lady who plays uh, my, what is it, my great, 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 great granddaughter on the show, uh, where she was on the episode where we hosted The Long Hair of Death, she was texting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the one I babysit. That's it. Yeah, she picked it. Yep, good song. Well, hello again, everyone. Uh, I am Eric Sprouse. I am series creator of the television show Dead and Buried Treasures, as well as its sister shows, the pre-show Walk the Plank, uh, hosted by Rich Kanji, as well as the show you're listening to now, which is The Pirate's Booty, the official after show of Dead and Buried Treasures. It's also uh, the official podcast for Dead and Buried Treasures. For, for the next hour, we will take your phone calls regarding tonight's show, any questions you might have, and uh, bring you a little closer to the world of Captain Calico Drake, uh, the, uh, the host of the show. I also play him as well. <laughs> uh, we just like to have a little bit of fun and talk about the show and take your calls and, um, you know, have some fun tonight. Uh, the show is sponsored by redbubble.com, of course, where you can get all your official Dead and Buried Treasures merchandise, uh, including uh, T-shirts, hats, uh, laptop sleeves, cell phone cases, shower curtains, bath mats, you name it. They got it at redbubble, redbubble.com. As well, as, and we're also sponsored by... Um, Phoenix Comics and Toys, the home of the official Dead and Buried Treasures fan club, where I can tell you right now that uh, coming out for a limited time only, uh, this is our November show, and there will be another one in December, uh, they are re-releasing a collector's item through Phoenix Comics and Toys, the Santa Drake decoder statue. Um, they only do it once a year, and uh, Rob Fleck... Uh, has told me over there at Phoenix Comics and Toys they're going to re-release it as a special for Christmas, but you got to act fast. Ah, and I'm sitting here enjoying a nice drink at 2 in the morning. <laughs> and an apple turnover. So you're going to hear me munching on that, no doubt. Um, sorry, that's the ice in this. You can hear the... Yeah, it keeps me going. So, uh, that's our sponsor for tonight, is uh, Phoenix Comics and Toys, the home of the official fan club for Dead and Buried Treasures, as well as Redbubble.com, where you can get all your merchandise. And I just, you know what? You know what I did? I put in an order for about $300 worth of uh, merchandise uh, at Redbubble last week. Yep, for the show. I'm giving it out as Christmas gifts. Absolutely, I got t-shirts for the whole crew, the cast, uh, our affiliate GMs, you name it. They help me out more than they, you can possibly imagine. So I got them t-shirts and uh, some merchandise on the show. Yeah, I had the idea. You know what? I had an idea earlier. I was going to do a calendar for Dead and Buried Treasures, and I never got around to it. And it's getting close now to the hall. When it hits November... I'm thinking, okay, i got to do something now on a mass scale to buy for my cast and crew because even if I order it, it won't be here until December and then I've avoided the Christmas rush and I don't have to worry about it. And then I can just deliver, hand deliver it to everybody and save on postage and you know, that's a lot of money. You know, I must have bought 20 shirts. You know, that's a lot of money. Different sizes, shapes, you know, for women, men, boys, girls, whatever. Um, so that comes to be, you know, it's up there, but... It all goes to a good cause. It all goes to the uh, local Humane Society, the ASPCA, 
Um, because during this pandemic, of course, a lot of people forget about our four-legged friends. And uh, I think that's important. So I feel like I made a big donation. I got some t-shirts out of it as a result. So, uh, what's that? <laughs> yeah, it makes me feel good about myself. So, um, yeah, so there's that. So that's what I was doing uh, today before the show came on. Uh, we just finished watching our latest episode, uh, Rescue from Gilligan's Island. Did you, did you even know that they got rescued? I didn't know that. I thought the series was canceled and they were just off, left on the island. But then I did a little research. Ten years later, in the 1978, they brought the show back and rescued them off of the island. And they did it as a trilogy of movies in 78, 80, and 83. Yep. It was The Rescue from Gilligan's Island. It was the castaways of Gilligan's Island and the Harlem Globetrotters on Gilligan's Island. Yikes. Where I guess um, they opened up the island as a resort. And uh, they were like national heroes being lost at sea for 15 years. And they opened up the island and made it a resort. Yeah, it was really... Tonight's movie was pretty good. I actually watched it. I really enjoyed it. You know, it's just like watching Gilligan's Island again. The only thing I missed was... I would like to have seen them use the laugh track that they had when they did it in the 60s uh, just to make everything match. But everything didn't. They had the same song. They had the same characters. Um, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. And I had a lot of fun creating our seg segments as well. We had some special effects with the uh, tsunami that wiped out the island and uh, the uh, uh, double agent now storyline is coming to a head. And uh, the villains are lurking out there in the ocean just waiting for me to make the wrong move. So it was an exciting night of fun. And we get to wrap it up here tonight with you uh, asking your questions, which hopefully I can provide some kind of answers. I wouldn't count on it, though. <laughs> so I tell you what, let's get to our first call. Uh, I know a lot of the show is based on the fans and the viewers, and I like to hear what you have to think about the show and, and go from there. So... Let's get right to it. This uh, first call comes from uh, Pensacola, Florida. Uh, you can call in and get your phone calls in our queue right now at 412-691-3803. That's the home of Dead and Buried Treasures. We have a couple of spots open in the queue. And our first call comes from Roger in Pensacola, Florida. How are you tonight, Roger? Hello, Eric. My name is Roger Houston, and I'm calling from uh, Pensacola, Florida. Yes. We were wondering if Jasper will now be a regular on the show. You, you, you know, you guys are you guys are great together, like <laughs> uh, Abbott and Castello. <laughs> it's clear that you have a lot of chemistry on screen with your co-star. Mm -hmm. But because you're a monthly show, it, you never get a chance to see them consistently and you know like Mirabella for example I'm not sure we've seen her in a new show since right maybe March or April yeah but I was wondering if Jasper would be more consistent and if you had plans to bring back Mirabella or Professor Gertie yeah Anyway, I'm going to hang up, and I'm going to listen to your answer. Thank you so much for taking my call. Thank you, Roger. Yes, uh, Jasper is uh, hopefully going to be a regular on the show. I think he's fun. I worked with uh, Christopher Presley, who plays Jasper before. Uh, and uh, one day out of the blue, he's, you know, we just kind of reminisced and reconnected and uh, told him about the show I was doing, and uh, we just thought it would be a fun idea. He said, I still got the same clothes I did when we... He, I used to use, I used to do another show I co-created with a friend of mine named Harry Metz called Fright Night Friday. And uh, we did it when I was teaching at California University of Pennsylvania. And uh, we would create TV down there hosting monster movies. And uh, Chris Presley, who was uh, affectionately known then as CK, was one of my students, uh, did this character called Chester. And he was an old man. He was so good at playing an old man. And so we were so good at writing scripts at it that uh, he asked to come on board. And I said, sure, that'd be fun. So we made him into a character on the show. And uh, uh, he's going to be joining our cast as the island caretaker, uh, Jasper. 
uh, who has a backstory that's much different than whenever I worked with him before. We've really put a lot of care into it, but he says, I've got, he goes, I've got that, those clo that clothes that I, from uh, when I did originally uh, the character on Fright Night Friday, just sitting there. I, I can just be the same guy. I said, that'd be fun. So um, we're going to give it a shot. Yeah, he's going to be a regular on the show. So that'll be a lot of fun. Um, my my uh, little uh, my dog is having a nightmare. You can hear on the floor. <laughs> She's having a little nightmare. Um, I'm doing the podcast from my house, and uh, she was like having a little doggy mare. You know, whenever they start running, did you see that? <laughs> like running in her sleep, right? <laughs> so adorable, Betty White. That's my dog. Um, I have three of them, uh, Betty White, Molly, Ring Molly Ringwald, and Angela Lansbury, and they're just the best dogs ever. Um, but anyway, yes, yeah, so Jesper will be a character on the show. Thank you for your call, Roger. The number again for the Pirate's Booty is 412-691-3803, and we'll be taking your phone calls for another 45 minutes or so. A lot of calls tonight in the queue, so let's get right to them. This one comes from... This one comes from uh, Manesson, Pennsylvania. Right? Yeah, Manesson, Pennsylvania. Hello, Manesson. How are you doing tonight? Hello, Captain. And ahoy! Ahoy, ahoy! I just wanted to let you know, uh, we, we saw you on the cover of Mon Valley Independent Newspaper recently, mm -hmm. and uh, wanted you to know... Yeah. But the, the press just loves your show. And online, I, I saw you on the Herald Standard as well. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you should be very proud. Thank you. I, I read the articles, and uh, I was wondering what the award is that you're up for on Thanksgiving. Uh, well, we get a lot of press coverage. Uh, when Halloween rolls around, it's kind of nice to know that newspapers want to do a bit on your show. And uh, being a local Pittsburgh nationally, uh, a lot of the local papers like to do some stuff on us. Uh, and I'm going to throw a couple names out there that did very nice articles on us. Uh, the Herald Standard that's seen in uh, Fayette County, Porter, which is Washington County, uh, the Almanac, which is um, the South Hills area. The Tribune Review, which covers most of Pittsburgh. Uh, the Mon Valley Independent, which covers uh, the Mon Valley. Uh, we, you know, a lot of great newspaper coverage we had at Halloween, and uh, I can't thank all those reporters enough for uh, making, uh, helping uh, get our show a little uh, recognition. That was really, really nice. Uh, so yes, uh, we had some great uh, uh, articles on there, and uh, we are up for what they call the Golden Turkey Award. <laughs> Uh, we uh, recently won the 2020 uh, CMA Award for the best TV show produced in Pittsburgh. And uh, we loved that. We just were very humbled by that. We didn't expect that. I was honored to hear about that. And now we're up for what they call the Golden Turkey Award, which is the best horror host uh, on television uh, through the Vortex Network, which is a national and uh, also kind of worldwide website television network uh, that uh, is what they call the home for horror hosts. We're up for what they call the Golden Turkey, which is the best horror host in the country. And uh, we take that very seriously. Uh, we were, again, humbled to hear about this. And hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll have some good news. The award's given out on Thanksgiving Day. And um, with that coming up, you know, fingers crossed that we'll uh, win the award. <laughs> that would be sweet, wouldn't it? Yeah, with all the work we put into this show, that everybody puts into this show, that would be something uh, to win a national award like that. And I think uh, in addition to the, uh, the award, um, they host a 24-hour marathon of your shows as a result. And that would be a lot of fun uh, to have a marathon like that. Yeah, so fingers crossed. We'll see what happens with that and uh, go from there. Uh, 412, thank you for your call again, Tom. 
And I guess that was from Manesson, Pennsylvania. Uh, so, uh, 412-691-3803 is the number for the Pirate's Booty. This is the official after show for Dead and Buried Treasures, as well as the official podcast for Dead and Buried Treasures. I am series creator Eric Sprouls. Uh, I also happen to be Captain Calico Drake. And uh, this next call comes in from Salt Lick, Wyoming. Is that correct? Yeah. From Scooter in Salt Lick. What's the matter? <laughs> I didn't know there was a Salt Lick either, but hey. I guess I guess we're all the wiser now, right? This next call comes in from Salt Lick, Wyoming. This is Scooter. How are things with you tonight, Scooter? Ahoy, Captain. Ahoy. Thanks for taking my call. You bet. I teach a TV production <clears throat> class at a local college and watch your show regularly. Mm-hmm. I love it very much, particularly since I am a fan of Pirate Lore. I saw your special effects extravaganza in the Gilligan's Island episode. <laughs> I was wondering... How in the world you created tsunami, a tsunami for the program? Mm-hmm. I know there's a lot of green screen screening involved and things of that nature, but wow, you are far better than a public access show. Can you give me a little insight? Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, you know, creating the show, I also write every episode. I also host the show. I'm also <clears throat> the PR person on I mean, I'm like a one-man band. Uh, there are some people that help out <clears throat> considerably. Uh, Rich Kanji, my producer on the pre-show, most of all. And then all the actors and actresses that uh, work on the show. Um, can't say enough about them. Uh, they really make the show look as good as it does. But when it boils down to it, I have to do the editing and all the post-production. And I had to create a tsunami. Uh, we like to have the movie tie into the show, the studio segments, and vice versa. And with Gilligan tonight, uh, a tsunami wipes out the island, and that's how they end up getting rescued. And I thought, well, maybe we should have a tsunami on my show. <clears throat> so we treat the show more like a mythology with a parallel storyline of some type because of the tie-ins with the island of dead and buried treasures that the captain has discovered and uh, how it... Uh, is the center of paranormal activity and uh, also the center of uh, all movies past, present, and future. Uh, so we wanted to tie in the tsunami. The tsunami was very difficult. I uh, I had to green screen quite a bit and I had to screen a couple of scenes and I had to put me in it and um, you know I had to wipe out the island and uh, it wasn't an easy thing to do but it is a really nice effect that, uh, that I found and I was able to uh, work with and uh, make it look pretty convincing um, there's a certain amount of charm that goes into the show I mean hey we're not ILM <laughs> you know what I mean our, our effects can look kind of cheap at times but also kind of charming at times uh, there was a show on TV a few years ago called Once Upon a Time and uh, it, was the, it was like a fantasy about all these Disney characters that were living in this town. And um, the thing about that that I really liked was when they did the fantasy parts to it, it looked fake. And I, I, when I say that, I mean, you know, when you have Snow White in the woods, you don't have to shoot it in the real woods, you know, to make it all real and realism. I think that's part of the problem with a lot of uh, movies today. There's just too much realism. And um, I liked it. To, it's kind of nice to have it look fantasy, you know, and kind of fun and like made up. And, uh, you know, I don't mean cheap, like cheap chroma keys or chroma keys that don't work. I just mean that you can tell clearly that I'm on this island that's made up and it's kind of a fantasy. And that's kind of a fun time in doing the whole thing. So thank you. I appreciate the kind words on the tsunami. Uh, it wasn't easy to do, but, uh, we did it nonetheless and we did it to the best of our ability. 412-691-3803 is the number for the Pirates Booty. This next call comes from Harrisburg. Sarah, how are things tonight in Harrisburg? Hello, Eric. Hello. I appreciate you taking the time to talk on the phone with me tonight. Oh, you anytime. Do a wonderful job on your show. Thank you very much. I, I just have to tell you, your show makes me laugh more than just about 
<laughs> any other show out there. And I think that it's because you know, you can relate to the characters so much. Mm-hmm. Yeah. One minute you have them in peril, and the next you have us laughing about everyday life. And that's one of the things I like to do is I like to have shows that make you laugh. And I like to have shows that give you some... And if you can relate to those characters by laughing, not at the characters, but with the characters, when it comes time to make things scary i think it's a little bit more real and creates opportunities of real genuine fright so thank you very much that that is my intent um you're such a talented writer thank and you. i hope the tv stations you are on all realize what a gem they have in the form of this show uh your writing and your and your tv talent are just truly inspiring i well. can't imagine how you crank out a script like that so fast uh it's not easy and i (laughs) it's just not i mean you know i'll be honest with you Uh, we wanted to do a new christmas show that's coming up in december fingers crossed and i cranked it out in like two or three days and it had to be christmassy and i wanted it to involve every character that we've had on the show so they all have at least a cameo part in it because uh, we just wanted to do something a little bit lighter, but also have it go in terms of uh, the mythology of what's going on in the show. You know, there's a double agent on the ship somehow, or, and it's lurking in the background with the villains. But we wanted to have a heartwarming show and a funny show. And I cranked this thing out in a couple of days and sent it out to my actors. And uh, uh, Dana Messino Kanji, uh, who plays Professor Gertie, said to me i don't know how you do this you just you're just amazing on how you can write something i just sit there and write it and i just keep going and going until i find something and sometimes i don't even know what i'm doing i just start writing and i don't even know where it's going to end up um i didn't even have the tsunami as part of tonight's show until i was done writing segment seven you know and i needed something to happen that was life-threatening i said a tsunami that ties it right in with the island just like Gilligan had so those things I don't take lightly uh, but I just want to make sure we have the best possible show uh, and I because a lot of people put their time and effort into this they trust me as a director they trust me as a host to reach a certain end or else they wouldn't be involved with it and I'm happy that uh, in the end you know my efforts can get recognized and I can make everybody happy. You know, that's all I want, ever wanted to do. It's just like tonight when I talked to you, when we opened the show tonight, I talked about how I ordered a bunch of whole stuff of merchandise from redbubble.com to send the cast and crew. Just because they, they're doing this for free, and I want to thank them in some way that I possibly can. You know, I, I think we have a great rapport with that, and I'd like to do that. And I'm getting a waving from my producer. I'm spending too much time on questions because the queue is still full and I'm going to have to move on. But I want to thank you for the kind words you said on that, Sarah. And uh, uh, I don't take that lightly. 412-691-3803 is the number for the Pirate's Booty. The next call coming from St. Paul, Minnesota. Joe, what's going on tonight in St. Paul? Hardy, har, har. You can dodge a wrench. You won't get herpes from me. Oh, that's good. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what, what was that? What the hell was that? You know, Scooter, whenever I do this, it's nice to have you screen these calls. What? what? Yeah, he said, oh, he, he said he is from St. Saint- St. Paul, Minnesota. There was a little bit of, you know, it's 2 o'clock in the morning. You always get the drunks and the idiots. You know what I mean? And I guess that he was doing some kind of quote. Wasn't that like a quote from the movie Dodgeball? With uh, Vince Vaughn, Ben Still... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wasn't there a scene where they threw a wrench? And he says, if you can dodge a wrench, but I don't think... I don't know about the herpes line i don't know you <laughs> get all kinds of drunks at three o'clock in the morning i guess uh quick let's get some more 412 412- <laughs> 
412-691-3803 is the number for the Pirate's Booty. I don't know who that was, but uh, this next call comes from uh, Morgantown. Roger in Morgantown. How are things in Morgantown, Roger? Ah, ah. Your island has got me a trick. I love the story approach to the show where you have the standalone and wants to tell in the overall story arc. Well, thank you. The village uh, has perplexed me too. They look amazing, and it's clear that there's some kind of fight coming up. Mm-hmm. We are really digging it. Oh, well, I'm going to try to do my best, Roger. Um, well, I'm glad it has you intrigued. Uh, that's the whole point. Uh, we try to suck you guys in on a story. Uh, that's uh, 25 years of being a teacher in me. I've, I know how to craft a great story that's a lot of fun, that keeps people's interest, with colorful characters. And, uh, you know, we like to keep things light, and we like to have some genuine mo- moments of peril and some uh, moments that make you laugh, like tonight's show. Uh, we had uh, Jasper on there, and uh, we went back and forth uh, with him, and uh, we look at everything we had to do. We had to create like an underground world that he lived in, and I got a lot of great feedback uh, from some people that were watching tonight when I hit him with disco. Jasper's pastime is disco. (laughs) And he has a, a... you know, that's his big thing. He loves disco music on the island. He's lived there for, I don't know, what is it, 800,000 years or something like that. And uh, I'm glad that all uh, has you intrigued. It's a lot of fun to create these shows. Um, and the villains out there are just looming ahead. You know, something bad is going to happen with them. So um, thank you. I appreciate that. And uh, we'll see what happens next. Uh, you know, when we came up with the idea of this, uh, back in 2019, um, I saw myself just kind of introducing these really bad movies and dressing up as a pirate. And I, I had the idea to do this like once a week. Yikes. I could never have done that once a week. There's just too much involved technically. You have to export it. You have to edit it. You have to create the special effects, the chroma key. And 100% of the show is a special effect. So it does take a while to put together because we don't have these big, giant studios where people do all this stuff for you you know and, you know when Spiel- steven spielberg wants a, a monster to attack a city he has some special effects guy create it you know i'm the special effects guy and i'm steven spielberg and i'm also the actor and you know so fast forward a couple years later now that we have the show up and rolling and it's a lot of fun and i'm glad you're intrigued by it it's nice i love to hear fans that uh, watch. I've heard there's watch parties people watch uh, uh, on YouTube when we put the shows out there and they're available. And I'm glad to hear that uh, people receive the show so well. Uh, love it. 412, thank you again uh, for your call, Roger. That was from Morgantown. Thanks again. I appreciate that. 412-691-3803 is the number four, The Pirate's Booty. Uh, Sponsored tonight by Phoenix Comics and Toys, home of the official fan club for Dead and Buried Treasures. Uh, By the way, and and I said at the top of the show, they are re-releasing a collector's item that's sought after pretty, pretty well. The Santa Drake Decoder. It was our very first variant from uh, our decoder statue, uh, where it's basically me dressed up in a Santa Claus suit. (laughs) Uh, We had another variant, uh, the Uncle Sam uh, Decoder, which we called the Patriotic Pirate Decoder, um, that we do on the 4th of July. And there's another one coming up in the spring now uh, for St. Patrick's Day. Ah, St. Patrick's Day, you'll be telling me. That's right, St. Patrick's Day. Uh, The St. Patrick's Day Pirate Decoder. The Pat... We don't know what the name of it's going to be yet. Maybe the Patrick Pirate or the Pirate Patrick? I don't know. Something St. Patrick. St. Pirate's Day Decoder. I don't know. We'll come up with something. But uh, anyway, the point being, uh, with Phoenix and Comics and Toys, uh, the Santa Drake Decoder is back and will be available... Uh, the month of November 
and up until Christmas, if you're interested. And I know that thing went over like last year, like hotcakes. So get in touch with Phoenix Comics and Toys on Etsy. And also we're sponsored by Redbubble, where you can get uh, all kinds of Dead and Buried Treasures pod products and where all of the proceeds that sh uh, raised for the products that you buy, whether it be a laptop sleeve, a shower curtain, a t-shirt, a hat, leggings, a skirt, whatever, uh, with uh, Dead and Buried Treasures on it, goes to the ASPCA for our four-legged friends. So there's always that nice gesture. And I just went out and bought $300 worth of, $400 worth of clothing and Christmas presents for people on Redbubble for my casting crew. So I feel like I did something worthwhile by donating to that fund. 412-691-3803 uh, is the number for the Pirate's Booty, the official after show <clears throat> and the official podcast for Dead and Buried Treasures, where we will be taking your phone calls for about another 25 minutes. Uh, this next call comes from uh, New Stanton, Pennsylvania, at a Ren Fest. Uh, or he tells our... Uh, you got that right? He works at a Ren Fest? Oh, he did. Okay. And uh, he's calling from New Stanton, Pennsylvania. Uh, Stephen, how's things going tonight? Uh, hello, uh, Captain. Hello, how are you tonight? Well, well um... We love the uh, cut-ins that you did last month when you hosted the movie, uh, what was it called? Um, oh, it was called it, Man in the Attic. Right, Man in the Attic. I think. Um, yep. And, uh, y yeah, you called it Poop Deck News. We found that. <laughs> 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 But I think we came up with the title from the poop deck. But I'm I'm smelling what you're cooking. <laughs> really funny. Yeah. But my question is. Sure. Um, at least I think that's what you call it. Yeah, from um, the poop why deck. Why didn't you do something like that this time around? Oh, why? Well, oh, why we didn't do it this time around during the show? Uh, I'll be honest with you. There there wasn't enough time. Uh, this episode was jam packed full of stuff, and if you were to watch tonight's show rescue from gilligan's island and really break it down we had to cut things out like we'll go to a commercial break that's probably 30 seconds and come right back to the show uh this was a long one we didn't want we don't like to go over three hours we just don't and it's rare if we do we've only done that twice and uh we did it during uh, long john silver because I thought the movie was so good. We did it during Man in the Attic last time. I don't like to go over three hours because, you know, the Monster Channel and the Vortex don't like us to go over two hours. And they only air us as a three hours because they like our show. And, um, you know, I said, well, how the hell are you supposed to host a movie and in a two-hour time slot? Well, Night of the Living Dead is an hour and 45 minutes, so that gives you 15 minutes for, like, all your cut-ins. I said, you basically say, hello, here's the movie. And at the end of the show, you say, well, that was the movie. I mean, you know, so we they let us have a three-hour time slot, most of our affiliates, and we're so thankful for that because we can do a lot more with a three-hour time slot. But, uh, um, so we just didn't have enough time. <clears throat> to do uh, uh, a lot of commercials, a lot of cut-ins, and we we did those. What we we called them walk the plank floaters last time that we experimented with, where we would cut in and have like news that we didn't have time to fit into the pre-show or the after-show of the happenings and what was going on. Uh, I will say this: I, I'm thinking of this as we go. We should have had a cut in tonight. We just didn't have the time. But we are doing a new Christmas show. Fingers crossed. Hopefully it will be done and it will air toward the end of December next month. Fingers crossed because I it's going to take a lot to pull that off. But uh, we'll see. Uh, it's a race, really, to get that done. We are going to put our... Uh, just so you know, uh, to our viewers out there, that is, uh, Rescue from Gilligan's Island will air the next week in the first half of November. And then we're going to air our Thanksgiving special. And then there were none. Uh, Thanksgiving. You know, the week of Thanksgiving. And then in early December, we're going to air our original holiday show, 
where we host the movie Scrooge. And then we're going to hopefully crank out a new Christmas show uh, if we get it done. I'm not sure that we can do it, uh, but we're going to try. Uh, we're going to try to get it done before Christmas. And I don't see how we're going to do that, but we're going to try. And if if we don't get it done, then maybe we'll air it um, you know, next year. <laughs> Because it just takes so long, man, to, to do these segments and cut-ins. But, uh, hey, we'll do our best. 412-691-3803 is the number for the Pirate's Booty. We will be with you for about another 20 minutes. Uh, calling now from Louisville, Kentucky. I'm sorry, Louisville, Kentucky. We have Deborah. Debbie, how's things going in Louisville tonight? Hello, Captain. Oh. Permission to come aboard. Permission granted. I hope you give yourself a little credit on the show. You are a very talented an actor. Um, and like William Shatner on Star Trek, you know, I kind of mean that like you were the core of the show. Um, and with all your zany characters around, it's clear to me anyway that you and the others have fun and make, the, make it shine. Uh, great work. Your show is always like a cinematic moment of regional television. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Wow! You should be my PR consultant. <laughs> I oh my god! Believe me, I I'm sitting here listening to this. My god, my head's just <laughs> my producer across the other room is like, oh my god, his head's just <sighs> oh my god. Thank you so much. That's really amazing of you to say something like that. Thank you so much. Those are some really really kind words. Even if. It only if it only comes out once a month, um, mm-hmm. it's definitely worth the wait. Your movies are always the best, most fun too. Great work! I can't wait, and I'll be watching you for sure. Oh well, thank you so much. That was really nice of you to say, Debbie. I I'm gonna have to go to Louisville, Kentucky now. Uh, <laughs> what did she? How did she phrase that? A cinematic moment? A cinematic achievement? Oh my gosh, you know, people are going to think we plant these calls in here. Um, thank you so much, Debbie. That was really nice. And uh, uh, I'm glad you feel that way. Uh, we, like tonight's episode was really hard to put together. Uh, we had some problems and it covers a lot. You know, we shot a lot where we're supposed to be in these tunnels with these torches. And, and uh, if you look closely, I got stalactites hanging in front of me and things that are in the foreground, the background. I have to hide things that were in the shot that shouldn't have been uh you know and we cover them up with some effects and uh little things like that even the tsunami uh we made as terrifying as we possibly could uh because we'd like to make sure that the show flows in that fashion um so yes thank you for the kind words that was i'm really flattered i don't even have words for that but uh thank you again so much. Believe me, that does not fall on deaf ears. 412-691-3803 is the number for the Pirate's Booty, the official after show of Dead and Buried Treasures and the official podcast for Dead and Buried Treasures. Uh, Next we have Tony calling from Dallas, Texas. Tony, how are things going tonight? Uh, That show had me rolling with laughter. I had to let you know I, I got stain on my carpet now from uh, something I was drinking. The oh. baby laughed so hard that I knocked that over. <laughs> Thanks for that, man. <laughs> I was actually... It was right when you and Jasper... It is Jasper, is it? Yes. When you and him were going back and forth so quickly, it, it was just downright hysterical. Well, thank you. Speaking of which, is Jasper really that old? He looks a little younger. <laughs> Thanks for your time, Captain, and I appreciate the show. Sure. Uh, no, uh, I, let me answer your question. Jasper is not that old. He is not that old. Uh, he probably, I'm guessing, now is in his... Oy, I'm going to say... Maybe... I'm going to say he's in his uh, early 40s. Yeah. And, and, and if you want to meet Jasper in person, well, uh, behind the scenes, 
We're going to interview him on Walk the Plank next month for our Christmas show uh, and uh, sit down and kind of talk with him as a new character on the show. And he does not look anything like the guy that you see before you. And I wanted somebody who was kind of a cute old man. They make these really ugly ass latex old man masks now that you can pull over and you look like a really old man with sagging skin. I don't want that. I wanted something cute. I wanted the cheesy handlebar uh, curly Q mustache with the big giant Coke bottle glasses, you know, and he looks more like a prospector in a mine. And uh, I think that is much more fun for the show. It works out better. And uh, if you want to really meet Jasper and what he's like and what he's all about, tune into uh, our pre show, Walk the Plank, next time uh, when Rich Kanji, our host, will sit down and talk to Jasper at length about working on the show and, and joining us here on Dead and Buried Treasures. So, no, he is not that old, but. Uh, he uh, is a lot of fun. He's a very talented man. Chris Presley. 412-691-3803 is the number. I told you I'm going to be cranking out through, through some of these calls tonight. And that's what my point was. This next call comes from Seattle. Seattle, Washington. Jen is on the line. And uh, how are things in Seattle tonight, Jen? Hello, Eric. Glad to be aboard. We love the show. We love the previous show beforehand. We hope that you'll give us more behind-the-scenes info. And myself, I'm a teacher, and I always look forward to that. Oh. It's nice to see how things are done and executed. Can you give us more info on what be, might be happening on the next show, Walk the Plank? Uh, I think I just did. Uh, Jen, <laughs> uh, we're going to take you behind the scenes and meet uh, Jasper. Uh, so we can show you what goes into creating makeup and uh, special effects and green screening. In fact, you know, CK, I got to cut that out. I keep calling him CK. It's his nickname from 25 years ago. Chris Presley shoots his own material in his own screen, his own green screen, uh, when I send him the scripts. And it looks like we're in the same room doing things. But it's just a little crafty editing. In fact, there's a scene where he hands me the movie. In this episode, he hands me a VHS cassette and I lean in and take it and I cut to a close up of Jack asking, asking a question. I cut back to me and I pull back and I have the VHS cassette in my hand. He lives hundreds of miles away from me. I haven't seen him in person since probably the late 90s. And uh, it's just a way of hiding things via special effects, you know, and, uh, you know, it, 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 most of my actors really haul their own weight and it it plays well on me and how I can't say how I've taught them that's not exactly true but in our experiences in the past how they have gotten involved and jazzed about TV production and know enough that they can shoot these green screen experiences that I can utilize them on a show Aline Isley who does our mermaid has to shoot all of her stuff independently uh, Rich Kanji has to shoot his stuff as well as Professor Gertie independently you know it, and the list goes on and on so um there are a lot of special effects, and it is nice that uh, uh, Jasper does his stuff, just like Aline and everybody else. So next time on Walk the Plank, we're going to take you some behind the scenes of putting Jasper together, making a thousand-year-old man, I'm sorry, making a 35 or 40-year-old man become a thousand years old. <laughs> 412-691-3803 is the number for the Pirate's Booty. This is the official after show of Dead and Buried Treasures and the official podcast. Uh, I am series creator Eric Sprouse. I also play your host, Captain Calico Drake. And I have a lot of fun doing it. And we have a, a few more minutes before we hang it up for the night. Uh, we have uh, Eric calling from Norfolk, Norfolk, Virginia. How are things tonight, Eric? Hey, good evening, Eric. Good evening. Sorry, I got a couple of friends over here. That's all right. Uh, I just, I got to tell you, you guys are driving my family nuts with all of your cliffhangers. <laughs> you know, I get a lot of positive feedback on those cliffhangers, so anything I can do to help a friend, Eric. <laughs> so we live in the Pittsburgh area, and the double agent thing is killing us. We, we like all the characters, really, on your show. And we hate to see one of them leave or become evil. 
So we're anxious to see how that thing turns out. No, oh, uh, I, I am as well. I write it. I don't even know. I, like I said, Eric, when I sit down to write stuff, I don't even know what I'm writing sometimes as I'm writing. It just comes to me as I'm sitting there. I said, oh, this would be neat. Oh, this would be cool. And I have like a gut reaction to that, and I kind of tweak it. And So I'm right there with you. I don't know how it's going to turn out either, so I'm just as excited as you are. <laughs> You certainly know how to keep a family in suspense, that's for sure. Thank you. Our house has taken a poll. We have narrowed it down. Oh. You, your ex-wife, Juliana, or Gertie. Oh, so, okay, so you think those are the ones who are the double agent? Uh, okay, you've taken a poll, huh? Okay. We think Jack is, yeah, he's just too loyal. Davies is just too silly. <laughs> In my opinion, I think Jasper is, yeah, he's kind of senile. My kid thinks it's Reggie, though. Oh, I can't tell you how many people thought it's Reggie. Um, and I'm not revealing who is the double agent yet, but I got to agree with you there. Reggie would be the perfect one because he's kind of, you know, he doesn't... He likes things, but, you know, uh, we revealed on that Long John Silver episode, he tried to abandon the captain and steal his ship and his money. So that's actually a good bet, too. That's a good choice. I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe, nope, nope. My personal belief, this is it. The mermaid is nice, but she just tried to screw you once already. Oh, uh, Mirabella. You think it might be Mirabella? A couple of shows ago, I think it was. Right. Anyhow, we love the show. We're proud members of the fan club. And oh. can't wait to see you come out and, and bring out another one there. BPTV should be proud to have you. Oh, thank well, you. Th no, thank you. That was some really kind words. What happened tonight? Everybody's like giving me, like flattering me. Now, BPTV should be proud to have you. What was the one that the girl said earlier? Says, uh, I'm a cinematic... I don't know. I was like, Cin I'm a cinematic marvel or something. I was like, what? <laughs> oh, my God. This was a great fun night so far. Uh, it's a shame it has to come to an end here in about 10 more minutes. But we can fit in a couple more calls. 412-691-3803 is the number for the Pirate's Booty, the official after show of Dead and Buried Treasures. And our official podcast that you can also hear. I didn't even give them a plug. You can also hear our podcast on Spotify, uh, on Pocket Casters, iTunes, any place where podcasts are heard. Make sure you tune in and, and uh, subscribe to us. As well as on our YouTube channel. Hey, come find our show on YouTube. I can't tell me how, you, how many YouTube subscribers we picked up over the Halloween uh, weekend. Uh, a ton have now subscribed to Dead and Buried Treasures on YouTube, as well as our Facebook channel has now doubled uh, in the last couple of months. So uh, I guess maybe we're doing something right. Maybe we're a cinematic marvel. <laughs> I absolutely love that. I was so flattered. Oh, yeah, and he's like, oh, our family's a member of the fan club. We never miss your show. I love it. It's so much fun. 412-691-3803 uh, is the number if you're not able to get in tonight because the show is only going to be on the air here for about another 10 minutes. Um, make sure you leave a voicemail, and maybe we can get back to you in some other way or use you on a future show. This next com uh, phone call comes from Hanover, Alabama, from Judy from Hanover, Alabama. How are you tonight, Judy? Hello, Captain. Hello. Hey, another great show. Thank you. We watched it till the end with the great tsunami. Oh, yeah. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> that was a real blankety blank to put together, though. I have a question, though. Sure. Could you give us a heads up on what the movies are about the next month? Oh. Thank you. Oh, you mean for next uh, month? Uh... Well, yeah, I can give you a heads up on that right now, Judy. Um, we're going to do two, hopefully, for December. Uh, they're going to be Christmas-themed, obviously. We're going to have a brand-new Christmas show that's going to be toward the end of December, closer than you get to the holiday, maybe even where to get on New Year's, uh, where we host the movie uh, Don't Open Until Christmas. It's about a serial killer that goes after anyone dressed as Santa Claus in London. Uh, sounds like a Jack the Ripper kind of thing. Uh, that's the one that will be new that we're shooting right now. We're trying to get done uh, before 
you know, hopefully I, if I have time to edit it all together. And of course, uh, Scrooge, uh, our original Christmas special will air in the beginning of uh, December. And uh, toward the end of thank uh, November for Thanksgiving, we'll have uh, And Then There Were None, an Agatha Christie whodunit uh, with a kill list of about, I don't know, a dozen on there. It was like one of the original slasher films. It's pretty good. And then in uh, January, uh, in the, some of the months to come, we're looking for Destroy All Planets. Uh, that'll be coming along. The Last Man on Earth. Um, we're trying to get the rights to uh, Hangar 18, which is a Darren Mc... If you like Darren McGavin in The Night Stalker, you'll like this one. It's a really good one. Uh, so we have some good ones lined up. Uh, and uh, hopefully uh, we will get to all of them. Uh, it's so much fun. So, some of these movies are so old and so forgotten about, but I love them. 412-691-3803 is the number. Uh, this next call comes from Julesburg, North Carolina. This is Kevin calling from North Carolina. Hello, North Carolina. How are things tonight? You're on uh, the Pirate's Booty. Greetings, Captain. Greetings. This is Tom from Newville calling. Hi. Hi, how are you? Hey, it's been a while since I've talked to you, and it's nice to talk to you again. You bet. Anytime. So, I have a question for you. Will you be doing a holiday show this year? Anything for Thanksgiving or Christmas? Yeah, in fact, we've been talking about that, Tom, or... I, I, you know, you're doing a real good job producing this tonight. This is Tom calling from Newville. Oh, okay. Well, we'll we'll give you that when the board is not doing up to par tonight. Uh, yeah, we talked about that uh, some of the evening. Um, uh, what we're doing for Thanksgiving is, um, and then there were none, and then two Christmas movies in Christmas uh, this year in December of 21. We're going to do uh, Scrooge and uh, Don't Open Until Christmas. Just wondering. Yeah, absolutely. And that's what we're doing. Yep. Okay. You bet. Thanks a lot. Have a great night. Okay. Thank you so much for the call. 412-691-3803 is the number. We're on the air about another five minutes or so tonight. Um, we want to remind you, too, uh, that we are sponsored tonight <coughs> by Phoenix Comics and Toys, the home of the official Dead and Buried Treasures fan club, where you, too, can... Uh, subscribe to our fan club and receive a newsletter, an 8x10 of me as I down another apple turnover I'll have to finish that uh, <laughs> uh, and uh, uh, just a lot of uh, goodness with that, including the re-release of the Santa Drake de Collectibles Decoder Statue um, and Rob Fleck over there at Phoenix Comics and Toys tells me that uh, you can get that for only about a month. So if you're going to do it, do it. If you're not going to do it, it won't be available after the holidays. Uh, it goes back into the island vault. Uh, so that's our first sponsor is Phoenix Comics and Toys. Uh, we're also sponsored again by Redbubble.com where we have the official merchandise of the show. And just remember, all proceeds generated through uh, merchandise purchased through Redbubble is donated to the ASPCA to our four-legged friends who could really use the love during this horrible pandemic. Uh, so please act and get yourself a t-shirt or maybe a gift like I did. I bought several of them for my cast and crew. Uh, you'll like it. They're, and they're very high quality. I was very surprised uh, at uh, what they put together. 412-691-3803 is the number. We have time for one last call tonight before we uh, call it an evening. Uh, and this last call comes from Locksboro, New Jersey. Uh, Harry from Locksboro, New Jersey. How are things, Harry? What's going on tonight? Hey, Captain Drake. We are so glad to have you added to the Moon Township programming lineup on Channel 14. Oh, you bet. That's uh, just what the doctor asked for. We're so glad to have you on MCA TV. Uh, saw you a couple of times at my aunt's house near Cannonsburg, and now we can watch your show regularly here. Uh, you know, I look forward to it every time. Uh, one question I did have, though, was: Is this just a is this a once a month show, uh, or is it a weekly show? Thanks. Well, Thanks. well, you know, uh, first of all, I got to credit our producer who told me that came from New Jersey. Well, he's talking about Moon Township. Huh? Yeah, apparently that call was from Moon Township. You know, just don't even use that board anymore because that thing's not even accurate. What are they telling you? <laughs> They're telling you 
They're not telling you they're from all these places, are they? Oh, you got them out of order per... Oh, I see what you did. So you were going by the... Oh, interesting. So every call was off by the call prior. Because this one sounded like he was from the Pittsburgh area. He's talking about our new affiliate, MCA TV Channel 14. Right. Okay. All right. Well, just to answer some of his questions. Uh, first of all, yes, we are now seen on another uh, affiliate in the Pittsburgh area, MCA TV Channel 14 in Moon Township. It's always nice to be out there. Uh, we've restarted the series out there. And I uh, just want to say hi to Morgan and the gang over at MCA TV. And uh, yes, we are a monthly show as far as we are produced, but we try to switch it up every couple of weeks, even if it's a rerun. So for example, Rescue from Gilligan's Island will probably be seen until mid-November. At that time, we're going to pull that episode and do probably our Thanksgiving special, which is a rerun from last year. But it's still the same piratey fun and goodness where we host the movie um, uh, and then there were none. And then in December, instead of having a new episode toward the beginning of the month, I need time to put that thing together. So we're doing a new Christmas show, hopefully, fingers crossed, for the end of the month, more towards Christmas. And at the beginning of the month, we're going to air our original Christmas special, Scrooge. Uh, so, yeah, we try to switch it up with a new show so it doesn't get too stale every couple of weeks. But in all honesty, technically by the book, we would produce about one a month. In fact, these last couple took a little bit longer than that because there were so many special effects required for them that it was just, uh, uh, it was just tedious. So, yes, we're about a monthly show, but you can see it's probably with new stuff every couple of weeks. So, that's our show for tonight, The Pirate's Booty. This has been The Pirate's Booty, the official after show for Dead and Buried Treasures. Uh, it's also our official podcast that you can uh, hear on Spotify, iTunes, Pocket Casters, you know, wherever, I, wherever podcasts are heard. And we thank you for everyone who called in this evening. Boy, an hour goes fast, doesn't it? Yeah, it really, really, really does. Uh, it seems like we just started, and we're already done. So uh, come join us uh, next month when uh, Dead and Buried Treasures will return with our Christmas show. Uh, we said it all evening, Scrooge, and hopefully a new one uh, where we host the movie Don't Open Until Christmas. Uh, also, our Thanksgiving show is around the corner here in mid-November where we host, and then there were none, an Agatha Christie classic. Uh, if you like a, a good whodunit slasher of... Uh, that was one of my... i tell you what, for being a public domain movie, that was a good movie. Didn't even have any idea who the killer was. I mean, it was really good. Had a nice twist at the end. I was very, very impressed. Not all public domain movies are garbage. You know, I, I know there's a misconception that that is the way it is, but it's not. That was a real good movie. So come see us on Thanksgiving. And uh, come see us for the holidays on uh, our affiliates. And of course, you can see us every Friday and Saturday night at midnight on our Facebook page uh, uh, with our pre-show beginning at 11.30. You can also see us on our YouTube channels, uh, our YouTube channel with uh, a new watch party every week. And you can always see the latest episode on YouTube at any time you want. Just bring it into your home and watch it. Uh, you can see us on our affiliates of PCTV Channel 21 downtown in Pittsburgh, CUTV Channel 17 and 62 in Fayette County and Washington County, uh, BPTV, our flagship station in Bethel Park, that's Channel 7 and Verizon 32, and of course, uh, MCA TV uh, in Moon Township, uh, that's Channel 14 uh, out on Comcast. And of course, you can see us on the Monster Channel, uh, and we also are going to be on our Thanksgiving episode. We'll be on the Vortex Thanksgiving night. We're still working out the details for the Monster Channel. And that's it. I'm out of time. That's 59 minutes going on 60. See you next month. It's always been a pirate's life for me. And make sure to turn into Dead and Buried Treasures, where it's Halloween all year long. Take care of yourselves, everyone, and good night. <laughs>